Welcome back to the Connors and Ferris High School Sports Show brought to you by Salvatore's Pizza. Our next interview is one of the top players in, in tennis in the state, certainly in Section 5. She has been for the last few years. She joins us on our special tees hotline. She's a senior at Pittsburgh Sutherland, a three-time state qualifier, twice in doubles, two-time doubles champion from Pittsburgh, and, and one time in singles. She made it to states. Uh, from Pittsburgh Sutherland, a senior, Josie Libby. Hi, Josie. Hi. And joining us also, the coach of the Knights, one of the most, one of the most gracious uh, tennis ambassadors in Section 5. Actually, the most gracious uh, ambassador, Joe Thyroff, the coach of the Knights. Hi, Joe. Thank you, Jeff. Hello. Steve Bradley, this is one special player. She's had an amazing career, six years on varsity. Tell me a little bit more about Josie, and then let's, uh, let's start with the interrogation. Well, Josie's career has been fantastic, and uh, especially coming into this year, I don't even know if she knows this yet, Joe, uh, Jeff, but she won her 100th match um, a few weeks ago, and with her victory tonight, she's uh, got 11 on this season. She's on pace to finish third all-time in Joe Thyroff's tenure of, of 20 years at Pittsburgh Sutherland. And when you look at the list of players that have played for Joe, uh, that's so impressive. Josie, congratulations. And uh, we get started. How'd you get started in tennis? And uh, you've been on varsity for six years, so you must have started young, right? Yeah, I think I started tennis around um, four or five. Um, my parents just took me to this Midtown Athletic Club in Rochester, and um, they just needed something for me to do, so I started there. Did you love it right away? No pun intended. I don't think I did. I Tennis is one of those uh, games where you have to sort of get good at it before you start to really enjoy it. Like you have to learn the basic skills. So I think I started to really like it when I turned about 11 or 12 when I was able to hit with the bigger kids and I enjoyed myself a lot more. So uh, I'm obviously tennis runs very deep in your family. Um, do you remember the first time you saw Josie play and what you saw and what her strength and how she's grown up uh, with six years in your program and, and become the player that she is now? What makes her so good? Well, when she was a seventh grader and she came out, um, she wasn't very big, certainly not as, as she has grown, but she, she could hit the ball. She had all the techniques and she did well on our ladder. Um, and we had great players on the team, and yet Josie was like top four as a seventh grader on the team. Um, and, and that was good for Josie because she had three players ahead of her that, that kept hitting, that, that she could hit with, and that could push her game. Um, I was impressed. I was impressed by her technique. And the other thing I was impressed by is back then she seemed to really love the game. She, she wanted to play it all the time. As soon as she got to the courts, she was on the courts practicing with whoever she could find to hit. Josie, you play singles and doubles. At the state level, you made it to the, to the doubles, to the uh, states twice in a row. Uh, Gwyneth Mattia, is that right? Did Mattia. I get the name of Mattia, uh, your doubles partner. Do you prefer doubles or singles? Or does it, you know, do you prefer to be on your own or do you like having a, a partner and a teammate? Uh, I like having a partner and a teammate now after playing doubles for two years at the state. Um, I definitely got a lot better at doubles and it's just more enjoyable for me now um, knowing that there's someone to like pick me up when I'm down basically. You're 11 and all this season and uh, obviously 2020 has been a year unlike any of us have ever seen. Um, what's it been like for you and how, how has your game developed through your six years with uh, Pittsburgh Sutherland Tennis? Uh, this year for me, I thought it was going to be really different, and I was a little bit nervous at first, but it's turned out really well. Um, we ma wear masks when we play, you know, we social distance, and um, we practice, and we played all of our matches. So I think this year has gone very well, um, considering the circumstances. Um, I Yeah, I was a little bit upset that this would be the year that I would be ending it off on, but I think it's gone just as well as any other year and I think that we've had some great matches just like every other year. Joe where, where have you seen her game grow? Ground strokes or serves or serving volleys or mental toughness or all that in a bag of chips? She's always seemed to have the mental toughness. I, I think her game has grown where she's become more aggressive as she's gotten older and bigger. Um, when she plays a, a quality opponent uh, like Jeff Bodowitz who she's played a few times in her career. 
uh, the two of them really go after it. And they're, they're not just pushing the ball. They're really hitting the ball, trying to push the other one out of the court. And that's where I've seen her game grow from a more defensive, consistent player in the early years to a very aggressive player now. So you've got about probably two weeks left. Um, you, you won your team sectional match tonight. Uh, Knights are seeded number one in class B1. And then there, there'll defending be an individual champs. tournament later on. Um, defending champs. Defending champs. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff. So what's your mindset for these next two weeks and, and where do you feel your game is right now? Um, for these next two weeks, um, I think that we just have to stay healthy, um, stay prepared, um, practice a little bit. It's been hard to get practices in because the weather is so bad, but it's definitely something we need to do in the next two weeks. And I think that we will win. So, <laughs> <laughs> Josie, Libby, who do you like to watch play tennis on television? Anybody you've grown up watching and really liked a lot? Anything you pattern your game after? Um, I like to watch Roger Federer. He's my favorite player because I like his mental toughness and like the way he goes about the game is very, um, he wants to win every point. He um, never gives up basically. Oh, uh, talk about your team and, uh, you know, the, the, the chance that you have to, to, to win another sectional title. Who are some of the other players that uh, are along with Josie and are, have made this season so enjoyable for you? Well, our, our number two player is Celine Akbas. She's a senior as well. And last year, she and her partner made it to the States. So we had two doubles teams at the States last year. Um, Celine, um, she's been playing number one doubles all year for us this year with another girl named Amy Feng. And um, Celine went to the States last year with a girl named Hannah Kim. And Hannah's younger sister, Minji, who's a freshman, is playing on the team this year as our number three ranked player, but playing number two singles. So those are our top three, top three or four players. Um, and I'm happy, you know, we're losing two of them, the two best, but I'm hoping we can build on something for next year. Well, before we let you go, I want to thank you first, Joe, for setting this up for us. As usual, fantastic job. And Josie, also thank you. You are U.S. Army Warrior of the Week. We do that every uh, every week for an athlete locally who, uh, who goes above and beyond. And certainly, uh, we hope you go beyond all the way back to states. Uh, and you, you you get the final win this year. And, and the last match of the season for you is a W. So um, thanks for being on our show. We do appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Josie Libby and Joe Thyroff, Pittsburgh Sutherland Tennis. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, guys. Right Good here luck. on our special tees hotline. Uh, Special Tees, great company down in Geneseo. Uh, we'll tell you about those folks as we go on uh, throughout this course of the year. I also want to tell you about my good friends from Bath Fitter, 671-0007. You, uh, you can remodel with confidence, remodel with Bath Fitter. You see that this on the screen there on our Zoom, bathfitter.com. Uh, Rochester, the folks here do the most amazing work, number three in the country for volume, and that's because they do great, such great work. So please tell me you heard about it right here on the high school sports show. Uh, that's it for this week. We appreciate all of our guests, uh, my co-host Steve Bradley, our producer Rich Jones. Uh, thanks for listening to us on the Connors and Ferris High School Sports Show brought to you by Salvatore's Pizza. Thanks so much. That was a great interview, you two. Oh, thank you.